Hello, um, in this video uh, is a little trick on how to use the textures in Matrix Hall. I know that we still don't have a command that is just specific for that, but it's pretty easy to make anything that you want about textures. So to do that, what we have to use is the Clayu Emboss. So as you can see here in Matrix Hall, you have Clayu and you also have Emboss, all right? So first, the first thing that I'm going to do is just to create the limits that I want to create the texture. So I will do something like this because I want to apply this on a ring. Once you see the workflow, you will be able to apply it to many, many different workflows. All right, so I want to create a texture uh, with that shape. So let's go to Clayu, and from Clayu we will we'll turn on the emboss. All right, very important emboss. I want this tab here, this core, because I want it solid. All right, so I click uh, this uh, tab, and then what I will do, let me just move this like this, so I can be more accurate. Okay, I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect, but so the width, I will increase it a bit, and I will just decrease the height. So everything else is okay. I click validate, and now we will start to work with the emboss. So I start to add a new operation, and from here I can choose what kind of operation do I want. In this case, I want to work with the textures. So I work with the textures, and as you can see, we already have here a few options on the texture. So now, if I click on the tab where the textures are, this is where it comes out all the textures that I already have in this library. Okay, so now I would like to apply this one. So I double click on this one and it comes here. This is the uh, thickness, so I can do as many settings as I want. I can set up anything, so I click validate. And now, as you can see, I already have here the line, the, the, the curve that I have drawn before. I do a just a refresh. And look what I get. I just get already the texture that I'm looking for. Uh, I forgot to tell you that if you want to get just this neat, this clean texture, when you are creating the plate, just keep the delete base uh, uh, click it. So you are removing all this part that is not the texture. Okay. So refresh again. All right. This is the texture that I want. And I validate. So we need to follow what the software is asking us. Okay. So now I'm creating. And there we go. Very easily, I created a texture. All right. Now I close the boss. What I will do is I will get this mesh and I move it here beautiful now i have this guy here this ring uh, let me just bring it into the viewport and i want to apply this texture on this face at the very top to do that what i will do is go to transform and i will select auto base and i want to apply the auto base on this face here and there we go there is the surface so what I will do now is just, I will match this texture that I have here with this layout. I mean, this is a texture that at the end of the day, the one that I'm showing you, I don't need to be very, very precise. You can do anything you want. Okay. So this is the part that will be intersecting with the ring. Okay, and now um, I will go to the, the smart flow. So select the surface base. This is the one that we have here. This surface. And next is asking me, select the surface destination. I want to apply it here. And now that I have the tool that it's open on our uh, right panel, I select which objects do I want to flow. The objects that I want to flow are these ones. And as you can see here, now this is flipped because it depends on the directions that we have on the surfaces. But if we just do a normal flip, there we go. We got just 
the surface here. All right, and now that we have this, we can do any adjustment, any adjustment that we want. If I just go and I do this with another one, it applies to the ring. And if I go like this, it goes like that. Okay, so you have plenty of possibilities here. Something else that you can do is just go about back to the ring, make it bigger. Okay, I hope you like it, and this is a good trick for the weekend. Thank you.